on the next step. Are you ready, Eldon? Thanks to these guys, I got my lucky coin. Wait, this is the wrong coin. There's the wrong date on it. I don't know how I'm gonna win anything without my lucky coin. I forgot my wallet. I didn't bring anything. You said lunch was on you today. Be back soon, I promise, okay? Emma. See you in a bit. Great, yeah, just leave me here. With no money, no way to pay at all. Thanks, Ella. Sweden is unstoppable. We would not even be on B Troop in Sweden. I don't know how the next step could ever beat them. Welcome, everybody, to the Absolute Dance International Championship right here in vibrant, in beautiful Miami, Florida. I'm your host, Chuck Anderson, and I'm really excited to introduce to you my co-host. She's a dance expert. She's a star of stage and screen. She's a busy gal, but she's taking time to join us here. Ashley Luggett, welcome. Thank you, Chuck. I would not miss it. Uh, those of you who know me know I dance is my biggest passion and to be here watching the best of the best take this stage could not be more exciting for me and ashley our first team up from jamaica kingston dance central today is finally here the first day of internationals it's just it's so crazy out of italy yes. it is academia toscana di danza these are one swatch this year there's kind of an opening ceremony so we can see all the teams and where everybody's from. Cape Town Royal Dance Academy out of South Africa. This is internationals. It's almost kind of weird. I see so many other team jackets and different languages. It's crazy. Up next, the team from the Philippines, Manila, Pa Arlong in Seau. It's really fantastic because we really get to see who our competition is. That is Stockholm Dance Theater out of Sweden. What makes Sweden so great is that they're such good friends, even outside of the studio. They're just like the next step. They have that connection like we do. And here is a team from Poland. Yes. All male contingent. And that is very unique to this competition. They are strong, they are rehearsed, and they are ready to go. And here we have from the UK, Summerford School Dance. That's right, some teams come here to international. Today's gonna be rough because later on, me and Riley are both competing against each other for Miss International Soloist. And now the next step takes the stage for the first time ever at Internationals. It's pretty crazy walking across that stage because the theater is huge and of course it's Internationals, so it's all sold out. There's just so many people. Here's the team that is really wowing the dance community, especially here in Miami, very popular. If they can hold it together, who knows? They might be able to bring it all the way. I'm already nervous, and I have to compete for Mr. International Soloist against the best dancers I've ever seen. Internationals is going to be a lot harder than I thought. amongst 1,800 of the best dancers in the world. Today is the day where I do my solo for internationals, so right now I'm kind of marking through it in the foyer. No one gets eliminated in these rounds, but whoever wins Mr. and Miss International Soloist also gains a five-point advantage moving forward in the elimination rounds. I just hope that I can win that five-point advantage for our team. You've done enough rehearsing. Come on, let's go do something fun. I really should be practicing. Things are about to get intense. Let's have one last bit of fun. Yeah. Sure, why not? <laughs> I agree to do one last prank with Ella just because it'll be a good way to kind of let loose and relax for a little bit. The excitement. Uh, superstition sort of has a role in this, doesn't it? Yes, I... For your concern. We just I... goof off and have fun and make faces. It's kind of awesome. <laughs> 
It would need to chew mint bubble gum and blow 10 decent sized bubbles before I went on stage. So sometimes I'd be chewing and chewing and trying to blow and people are like. Like, uh, oh. Seeing Kate being left there holding the sign, it's priceless. <laughs> Hi, Mom, uh, I guess. Yeah, there's, from Miami, hi, Mom, as uh, the Absolute Dance <laughs> International Championship continues. Everybody know I do it like this. Do it like this. How you ain't know I do it like this? Do it like this. Well, there appears to be no slip-up whatsoever from every single entrant we've seen so far in this aspect of the competition for Mr. International Soloist, as Poland's Bartek takes control of that stage. I'm coming up soon to go do my solo, and uh, I've never really been this nervous before. Beautiful control. competition is so serious. I don't have my lucky coin. I've never been at a competition without my lucky coin before, and internationals is not the time to start. Why is he tripping so much? It's not even a lucky coin. If it was a lucky coin, he wouldn't have lost it in the Everglades. I need to get these five points for the next step, and I don't know how I'm gonna do that without my lucky coin. I hope I'm not first. No, I wouldn't mind if I was first. Really? Ella and I are just checking the schedule to see when we're going to be dancing our solos. Oh, there's only one dance between us. Yeah, and I'm before you. Mm. Actually, I was wondering, are you doing the dance you rehearse for the next step? Yeah. Ah, uh, good, that's a great dance. It was one of my favorites. Thank you. <laughs> it's going to be weird dancing against each other. Yeah, but we still have to dance our best, right? Of course. It just kind of hurts a little bit just because I, I don't want to compete against my best friend. Time to get our game face on. See you on the other side. I am in full competition mode. No one's gonna take this win away from me. Up now, we have Kyle from Stockholm Dance Theater. And I have to think that as the three-time Mr. International soloist, He's got to be the favorite here today. We're standing in the wings waiting for Eldon to go on for his solo. I have never seen him this nervous before. The Swedish dancer is, like, amazing. Man, are you good? His extreme lack of confidence is starting to worry me a little bit. Relax, man. You don't need that stupid coin, right? You're gonna kill it, you always do. It's because I've always had this stupid coin. And the only reason why he may need the coin is because he believes he needs the coin so much. James texted me to come talk to Eldon, and I'm really confused. I'm not supposed to be talking to Eldon until he gets to 30 pirouettes. Listen, Eldon is tripping. I need you to get his head in the game. Just talk to him, okay? You want me to talk Wait, to Eldon? Yes, I left the band. I know that they're not supposed to talk, but I think this time is necessary. Hey. You're hey. great. Thanks. When I see Talia, I kind of relax a little bit because I know that she's here to support me. Listen, I know you're going to win this title. I'm not so sure. The competition is fierce. I've never seen him this nervous before. I don't know what to do. Just dance for me. That I can do. I feel better because now it's not about the other dancers. It's not about the audience. It's not about my lucky coin. It's about dance and it's about Talia. And look how he closes out the dance. His arms wide open is almost as if to say, Give me that fourth title. That's right, and our audience needs to agree with a standing ovation. Please put your hands together for the male soloist from the next step, Elvin.
where there's mountains high A long way below As I'm dancing, I just feel very different. Usually the stuff I do is just like do a corkscrew and a B twist and then hit some beats. To go. This dance is a lot more emotional than the past Don't things I've done. Wasting all our time. And Talia is like the On driving force of my emotions. Climb. I definitely feel like Eldon's dancing for me and it just makes me like him so much more. He's incorporating elements of gymnastics, elements of ballet. There's so much technique in this routine and his jumps, wow! I feel like Eldon has just come so far since regionals and I really hope he wins. He's killing it right now. What did you see? I told him to dance for me. I tried that? Well, maybe that's why he was freaking out. <laughs> we built an Wow, with back handsprings. Unbelievable. This is incredible. It's happening again. Goosebumps. The gymnastics element, the ballet technique, he really has everything. Eldon is dancing amazingly. I knew it. He's really just dancing from his heart, and that's what makes it so special. This mountain's high. This could be my last solo with the next step, and I'm just, I'm just taking in this moment. Whatever happens, I could not have danced that well without Talia. I just hope it's enough to impress the judges. Seeing Eldon perform is making me both very anxious and nervous. Um, I'm the only person representing my team in this round. And I really want to win that five point advantage for the rest of them. She is so emotional when she dances, and I just feel like I can feel everything she's feeling, and it's, it's beautiful. Well, all the male soloists have had their proverbial kick at the can. Now it's just the waiting game, isn't it? And this is the worst part. You can ask any dancer. Getting on that stage is one thing, but once you've left it all on the stage and basically it's out of your hands, the tension really rises, so I am feeling the Good? You got this. As we wait to hear if Eldon will win, I have to admit, I'm a little worried for Eldon, but I cannot let him know that. All right, Ashley, I'm getting word that our panel of judges have made their decision. And the Mr. International Soloist winner is... I'm so nervous right now. This, this means so much to me. Kyle from Sweden. I don't understand how Eldon lost. His dance was amazing. I just, I feel so bad for him. Sweden was already the strongest team here, and now those five extra points will make them even harder to beat. I'm pretty mad right now, because this is my last chance to pull through for the next step, and I didn't do it. Welcome back to our coverage of the Absolute Dance International Championship here in Miami. We are down to the last four competitors for Miss International Soloist. Maddie from Stockholm Dance Theater is showing why Sweden leads the competition we've seen so far. That's right, and something tells me she'll be looking for the matching Miss Trophy. Next is 
Summerford School of Dance out of the UK. And Summerford is a studio that is known for being no nonsense and having really top shelf talent. So I, I really can't wait to see what happens. Good luck. Ella takes the stage and they play my solo song instead of hers, which is, which is weird. What's even weirder is that they don't stop. And then I realize she's doing my choreography to my song. This is your solo. I know. There are two reasons why I stole her solo. Because the solo is good. It is better than any dance I could have ever come up with. And secondly, because it might throw her off so much that she blows her chance of even winning this thing. As I said to her, I will do anything I can to win this competition. I'm appalled. I feel so bad for Riley. I've watched her rehearse that solo for so long. I feel like such an idiot. Ella warned me, and she told me that she would mess with me if she had the chance. And I gave her the perfect opportunity to. I showed her my solo. My biggest mistake was believing that Ella was my friend. And the crowd is going insane. A standing ovation for Ella from Summerford. I mean, that's got to be one of the best solos we've seen all day. The emotional was there, which we're not used to from Summerford. And I have to tell you, that choreography touched me. It had so much heart. The dance was brilliant. Good luck. Wow. I have to go on stage after one more dancer, and I have nothing. Snake. What am I going to do? What am I gonna do? She just took my dance. I can't, I can't do the same one that she just did. If I did the same routine as Ella, it would look like I stole her solo instead of the other way around. Doesn't anyone else have a solo? Well, I have a solo. Okay, I'll teach it to you. We can do it really fast. No, we don't have time. You have to do it. Riley, Giselle. there's no time. You're gonna do the solo. Come, we need to get you changed ASAP. Let's go. Come. Well, you know, Ashley, this week, you knew it was going to be full of uh, twists and turns. We'll try this one on for size. The next step, how to schedule dancer. Taking her place is going to be Team Captain Giselle. Wow. I'm kind of stressing out for her. You've That's never scary. seen anything quite like this, have you? I actually have never seen anything like this at International. Thank you. Will the dancer for the next step please enter the stage? This is my first time performing on the stage, and I have to do a solo? I haven't even practiced. All I can do now is hope that Giselle goes out there and kills it. So this is how I'm taking on the world right now. I've never had this amount of people watch me dance and appreciate what I do on the stage. This is absolutely incredible. And I'm not only doing it for me, but I'm doing it for my team, and especially Riley. Giselle is doing incredible. When the war is over. She's such an amazing dancer, and it's really, really nice to see her do her best. Don't take enemies for friends. Giselle's solo is pretty good, but I think I can beat her. Giselle is dancing amazing. She always does. But this is internationals, and 
This time, amazing might not cut it. As I finish my solo, <laughs> it is so, such a cool feeling. A standing ovation for Giselle from the next step and goosebumps from my co-host, Ashley Leggett. So amazing, amazing. Very well played. At this point, I want nothing to do with Ella. How could you do that to me? We're supposed to be friends. Riley, do you not get it yet? That's the game. It's not a game to me. Then you're going to lose. She's wrong. I'm not gonna lose. There's no way that she's gonna beat the next step. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges have made their decision. I'm just in the wings, waiting to hear who wins, and I just hope it's me. I have never felt so much pressure on myself in my lifetime. Absolute dance, international female soloist. I just hope what I did was enough for my team. She cheated, and she still won. How is that fair? Ella winning the solo means that Team England now has the five-point advantage, which they could use in any elimination round. First round, Ella. <laughs> which means they might even be able to use it against us.